I made a video about this employability framework that I built where I kind of talk about how you can become highly employable to make sure you can always get a job if you need to. And this viewer left a comment that said, hey Josh, can you make a video about being a contractor in IT? I feel like I have a lot to, to say about this because most of my jobs were, I was a contractor basically, and I've had a lot of jobs. I'm like a master job hopper. Um, if you don't know who I am already, my name is Josh Matikor. I make a lot of ethical content on IT and cybersecurity with the whole purpose of helping my viewers break into the field. And by ethical, I mean none of my content is clickbait and I don't say stuff unless I believe it works or have some kind of empirical evidence that it works. You can definitely Google me if you want to. Getting right into the answer to this, um, I think that people should be more open to contract work. People generally think they're being more safe by trying to get like a full-time position because it's more safe and I can I can work there for like a longer time or something but that's a bit of an illusion in my opinion um, I feel like I can see the matrix in terms of employment and like IT and cybersecurity and what I mean by see the matrix is I can kind of see things for how they are and companies I, I think companies will will hire like contractors when they Usually, right, if they have like a chunk of work that they need to like get out of the way, right, maybe they'll hire like a contractor to, to work on that for like a year and they'll budget like a year for them. And if it works out, you'll work for a year or something like this. Whereas they know they have like a really long term operation or something they need to do long term or they want to hire for like an individual, not necessarily for like um, a certain skill set, they'll hire like a full time staff. But if you're full time versus contract, it's not like your job is going to be more secure one way or the other. People think full time employers job is more secure, but it's not. I've I've never been hired. I've never been fired as a contractor before ever. And you see a lot of, you know, big tech, whatever. I don't really count them as like real world, real like industry, but um, in terms of jobs, but you see a lot of full time employees getting fired from like Microsoft, Twitter, Tesla recently, all of those companies. So it, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, I think you should go for contract work, um, especially earlier in your career, because it's easier to get contracting jobs. There's less freaking loops you have to jump through to do it, less interviews, and it's just less of a pain in the ass in general, and less people want to work contracts. You know, more people want to work full time, less people want to work contracts. So it makes it um, a good door for you to go into, like kind of a pathway of least resistance. And also, if you're like me, I really enjoy working in a lot of different environments and it makes you, it's gonna make you like super strong. If you do like one year contract here, one year there, one year there, you're gonna get exposed to a bunch of different environments. That's essentially what I did. And it's, it's made me like really, really strong. I've gotten exposure to like a lot of different fields. I, I can pretty much make well over 100K doing software engineering, cybersecurity, different random general IT things. Um, a lot of different disciplines I've, I've been, I've gotten pretty good at it because of contract work. Also, I would take into consideration, like as somebody who hires people, um, it's not like as cut and dry. Like people imagine it like, oh, the, the job came and I got my job and I'm going to stay in this job doing this thing as an employee. It's, it's not really like that. It's basically like a better way to think about it is a business is, is doing stuff, right? And then they need humans sometimes to help do those things and deliver value, whether or not it's like removing roadblocks for the money makers, actually making money, enabling business, something like this. So if you get hired as a contractor to do something, if you provide a lot of value and you don't need to be, like you, you try to do good at your job, right? And you don't need to be supervised too closely and you deliver you deliver value in ways that they didn't even think about. Like you just, you're just delivering so much value. They're not gonna wanna let you go. And like either they're gonna keep you as a contractor if you want, or they'll bring you on full time if you want, you can ask for this, but they simply are not going to let you go, right? If you're providing value, that's just the economics of things, right? Why would they throw away someone who's saving a lot of money or making a lot of money or removing a lot of roadblocks, they simply won't do it, right? If you think about t what Elon did with Twitter, he basically like fired everyone except for the people who, not everyone, but most of the people except for the people who are like actively committing to the code base. Those are the people who make Twitter run, right? If you fire those people, Twitter ain't run anymore, right? So it's the same as being a contractor. If you get hired as a contractor, you know the path of least resistance, like no one wants to be a contractor, but you get hired and you provide a lot of value, then they're not going to let you go unless they're stupid or something like this. They'll either try to retain you in one way or another, or if you're just gonna be really good anyway and have good experience and you can go and get the next contract and then rinse and repeat. 
I recommend watching the employability framework if you're worried about like your job um, stability or whatever. If you're super strong and you can distinguish yourself from your peers, which is what my channel is all about, it's not something that you have to worry about. I, I highly recommend working contracts. It's just funner and it's easier. Um, it's easier to get hired very often you have less responsibility like your role is more focused and the extra value that you provide you can pick where you want to provide that value right whether or not it's like uplifting your team or you notice some kind of inefficiency somewhere or you can work extra or offer help if you're providing a lot of value they're not they're simply not going to fire you and if they do they're stupid and then you can easily get a job somewhere else because you've maxed out your employability framework I hope this helps. Um, I really, like I said, I really enjoyed doing contract work. It's just really easy to get in a job that way. And I, I recommend you to consider it in the future. But yeah, don't forget to check out the all the free practice exams. Absolutely free. All you have to do is like click the link and you can you know start doing it in the browser. So yeah, hope this helps. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.